Hello guys, welcome to this product animation series. Today I'm going to walk you through the fluid simulation and some physics. So sit tight and let's get started. We can start by deleting everything except the cube because we will create ice from it. So go to modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface and put value 3 here. Don't forget to make it simple so it doesn't make curves. So now we add bevel, we keep it like this. Now what we add is the displacement modifier and we move it upwards. So it's like this. Now create new texture and go to textures and here we do clouds. We change the size, like something like this, or maybe a little bit higher. And now go back to modifiers and decrease the strength something like this is good now we can do shade smooth and now we go to shading in shading what we will do we will increase the transmission all the way up and we will create a noise texture We will also add color ramp, factor to factor, and here we change it to ease mode. We plug it to roughness. Make it not completely black and the white not completely white. Turn it down a bit like this. And here the scale make two also add bump node normal to normal and here the color to height and here is our eyes for sure you can play with this a bit also you can play with the strength of the displacement make it less displaced like this and this is our eyes so now is the time to make the simulation what we can do we can rename this to eyes and we can turn it off now so shift a and add cube scale the cube this will be our domain for the fluid simulation. So just get it like this and go to physics and make fluid and make it domain. Now change gas to liquid. What we can do, we can also add sphere, move it upwards and make it also fluid and make the type of flow and make it to liquid and inflow. What you can do, we can do the initial velocity. If you can, if you want to make it go down faster, then you put a minus and some value. I will put five to make it go down faster. And on X and Y, I will leave it like this because I want to make it straight down. So next, I go back to the main and scroll down, and here we have to the type to make all, and here change the end. For this testing purposes, I will just put it to 100 and I will also have to make a mesh here. And now we can bake all. Now, if you go here and uh, press play, you see the simulation. So this is pretty basic simulation. What we can do now, we can turn on the ice front to you and you can move it here. And we also have to create base because the ice will be falling down and it has to fall on something and slide on something. So I will create a slide. Shift A, plane, G, Z, and move it below the ice. Scale it. Go to edit mode. Select the two last vertices. Go to front view and make a slide like this. Go to edge, 
and select those edges E Z. And uh, over here we can also like close it F. And here we can scale it on Y axis like this. Okay, so now we have to apply all these physics to the eyes. So first we make it fluid. We make it a factor, so it affects our fluid and the surface thickness we will increase a bit the number, something like this. Then we go to the base, to the slide. We make it rigid body and we have to make it passive. And also the shape we have to change to mesh. So actually the eyes can follow through the hole here on the top. Go to eyes and also make it rigid body. And we here we just uh, leave it like this active so it falls like this and you see that it's falling right through the water so now because we have everything applied to the eyes we can just uh, move it a little bit up and we can duplicate it a couple of times to make more eyes make it a little bit random so move the eyes a bit everywhere make it random so now we, when we play it, you can see that the ice is falling through the water like this. We can do one more duplication like this. And what we will do now, we will go to we will go back to the base. And here we will free all. And because, let me see how the ice... Okay, so we will make it begin on the frame 40 and finish on frame 160. And now we will back it all. So now when we press play, you can see that the ice affects the water. It goes through the water and moves it. Maybe we can move it, make it 180 and back it again. You can just play with it as you like. You can make it different. You don't have to copy my values. Okay, so the simulation worked. So now let's create a background. Shift A and add plane. G and Y and move it back. Rotate it. Scale it. Create new collection and call it background. Move the background there. Move it a little bit back. New collection and call it light. Shift A and add point light. Now we can add error light. Move it upwards and to the side a bit. Scale it and rotate it 45 degrees. Duplicate the light and move it on the other side and rotate it 180 degrees. Now the lights are in position. Now we can create new collection and call it cam and add camera. Hit N and uh, put 90 degrees here, 0 degrees and 0 degrees here. Go to camera preference and go to settings viewport display and make transparency 1. And also focal length 75. Now we can go to shading. Go to board and shift A environment texture. Connect it color to color. Open and open the HDRI there. Now we can open new window here, go to camera view, here I will open new window as well and go to timeline and here I will go to render view 
and don't forget to have cycles here. So now we will add the materials for the background. Go to Object, click New, and change the color to dark blue. Something like this. Select the water and add new material. Go to Transmission and increase the value all the way up. Roughness all the way down. And IOR put 1.03, sorry, 1.309. Um, select the camera and adjust the camera. Now select the backlight, put the value 10,000 and change the color to blue. Move it up so it's in the center. Now we can go to EV. And preview the simulation. Okay, that's great. Go back to cycles. Select the error light and put value to thousand on both of them. Also, we can add one error light. Rotate it 90 degrees, scale it, also make it 2000, and put it in the center. We can render this. So I will go to render settings, we select cycles, GPU, and also here in color management, I have already set up, set up the high contrast, so we go with very high contrast. We can also play with the camera a bit to get the shot we like. Now if we go to back to EV, we can preview the animation. Now we can go to output settings and put the start frame on 70 and the finish frame on 160. Go back to cycles and here max samples set up. I have rendered it on 350 but 250 is also fine. And also what we can do, because we are finished now, we can go to uh, select the domain and here what we will do. We will free all and now we will put uh, the resolution to 120 which I have used and now we will bake all so it will bake the animation again and it will be in higher resolution. When it's done you will basically go here to render. I need to stop that by escape and you will go to render and render animation and the animation will render. Also here I use the PNGs and here you select the output where you want to render the animation. Okay guys, for this part that's it and I'm looking to forward to see you in the next part.